Today's adventure begins as the recording of the Saturday, March 30th, 2024. I'm going to pull through the drive through here and get myself a piping hot caffeinated beverage at the McDonald's that is solar powered next to Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park where I will be heading. Also, I want to point out, I showed a couple weeks ago, they removed the bicycles here that powered up, powered up the foliage green art, the foliage arches. Wonder why. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. I gotta admit, this smells pretty dang good. Oh yeah, McDonald's has pretty good, pretty dang good coffee. Usually when I'm on my way to Animal Kingdom, which does not happen often, I'll preface this by saying that. Animal Kingdom is my least visited of the four WDW theme parks, and I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to, you know, pop in here a little more often. Today, or this evening, it's about 4.30 right now, Park closes at eight, but I was, as I was saying, I usually will stop at that McDonald's, solar-powered Mickey D's, get myself a piping hot caffeinated beverage to start off a DAK day, or AK day, Animal Kingdom, or Disney Animal Kingdom, or whatever acronym. I think it's acronym. Is that the correct terminology? The three letters together is called. But today, I just want to go in, check out the Bat House, and also some other animals. The last time I was here, I did the Kali River Rapids. Brought my GoPro, did all that, got a little wet, and I thought I should probably come back during the evening or, you know, early, late afternoon, I should, late afternoon, early evening, and do it and do some stuff here in the park. So that's what I'm going to do. And one of the cast members said there's a lot more bats out later in the day than they are in the morning. Maybe I'll do the safari, but of anything that I do ride wise, the only thing I'll probably do other than walk around and look at animals will be the safari, which you could classify as an attraction or a ride. Join me. I parked over here in Butterfly 119. In this case, I don't forget. Shall you? At the moment, it's 82. It's 4.33 as I'm filming my phone. And the park closes at 8. Sun sets 17 minutes before close. So at 7.43, the sun will have dissipated over the horizon. Also, forgot to bring my magic band. Usually it's right there on that wrist. I'm nestling my coffee against my torso because I'm holding a camera and my phone at the same time. I feel naked without a magic band. But I do have my, I have my annual pass card in my wallet. And also the app can get you in. But I always feel nude when I forget my magic band. I'm going to do my darndest. Well, I'm, I'm just going to state it now. I'm not going to go on Dinosaur and I'm not going to go on Expedition Everest. Those are usually my two go-tos. I'm trying to break the mold in my routine when I'm here at Animal Kingdom. Plus, everything's pretty lengthy, except the one I would like to do. I want to see some animals. The safari. I think that's the safari, yeah. Kilimanjaro safaris. Only 10 minutes. And I've also heard that if you get here either at rope drop or later in the day, that's usually when more animals are out. Midday, they're not out as much. So we'll see how that works. It looks like Frank the Bunny from Donnie Darko or Oswald the Rabbit the Disney. Right there. Little water stain. You can see a lot of people are getting picked up. A lot of people are already heading out even at this hour, even though there's still three and a half hours till close. Bird chirping up there. Now keep in mind, I mean, when I say I haven't been here as much as the other parks, I've still been to Animal Kingdom probably 50 times in my life. So in comparison to the other ones though, that's, that's minimal. So it's not like I haven't been here. I've been here a lot, but in comparison. All right, the safari closes at 6.45. The jungle, the jungle trek at 6.30. I think I'm going to hit the safari first. That way I can maybe have some good luck with the bats at dusk. 10 minutes till 5. Oh, it's 4.50 right now. Do not need a lightning lane because it is a five-minute wait. Oh, it says it right there. 6.45. Five-minute wait. Not bad. All right, the safari was 100% not a five minute wait. The line, as soon as I walked in, was like right there. Definitely a lot lengthier than that. So I think I'll just pass on the safari today and I'll go to Gorilla Falls. Also, Rafiki's Planet Watch is closed. They have the little, they have the stanchions up here and everything. So maybe I'll do Gorilla Falls, the hippo pool, the bird forest that closes at 6.30. I've done the safari a number of times, so I'll just do that. And then I'll head over to the, the Bat Caves. Conservation School and Wildlife Sanctuary joint effort, citizens of Harambe and international conservation groups. We do not inherit the earth from our parents. We only borrow it 
from our children. There's some off bug spray up there too and some cantinas on that backpack. This is gonna be nice, uh, just taking my time not getting in line for rides and things. Okay, so this is the layout of the land right here. I am here. One thing I will say about Animal Kingdom, the theming is amazing. The Columbus monkey. Now they're not real active at the moment, but there is a couple of them right up there. <laughs> Taking a little late afternoon nap. Another one over there. See you up there. It's called an observation blind. Blinds like this are used to observe animals without disturbing the animals' behaviors calling it a blind. Look at this bird. Hello, bird. Hi, birdie. The research center is open today. Do not come bearing gifts of food. Over in the wall over here. Oh my gosh. What are these? Oh, they're rodents. Naked mole rat study burrow. That's how I feel when I don't have my magic band. Oh, there's a couple of them. Look. Look at those. A lot of fish down in here with the coral and all that. So this is looking at them from through the glass. You can see the reflection of my legs there. And then there's a little grate over the top over and this beautiful waterfall and all these birds chirping. To make sure the birds go get out, there's a netting up top there. Hey, this is nice. And the, one thing that's great about this park too, it doesn't take long to get in. I just drive over 10 minutes from my home, five minutes to walk from the parking lot and you're in. I think I'm gonna need to start coming over here a little bit more often. Really do. Easy in, easy out, and relaxing. Good for the good for the soul, especially at this hour when it's not too hot out. Look at these little birds. What are these? What are you? Oh hi. Oh my gosh, so cute, so cute. Oh, look at it just swimming through there. Cute animals could just do anything, and it's entertaining. The Kingdom of Animals. I'm not just the animal's sake. For my sake, I thank you. Oh, wow. Hippo skull? Crocodiles are huge. Well, that one is. Look at this hippo skull right here. Holy. Look at that thing. Oh. Evidently, that means don't touch the glass, which I'm sure no one heeds because people sit here. It's got to mean something else. Look, that hippo's going away. The hippo's going away. He's up there. Going off the shore. He's like, maybe the water's too cold or he's just over it. I think he's just over it. He's like, I'm out of here. There any hippos in the water? Nope. The back side of water, and that was the back side of a hippo. Now look at the zebras. All right, I'm gonna just make a bold statement. Again, I'm not an expert on this park. I've done the safari probably 25 times in my life, been here probably 50 times. I think it's, these trails are a little better for seeing animals than the safari, because the safari, you're moving pretty quick. They do stop occasionally. But I think you can see, you can look at the animals for longer period. Maybe that's maybe that's the terminology I'm looking for. You can go at your own pace. Also, speaking of some, something that's going at its own pace. <laughs> the squirrel is living amongst the zebras. Yep, I'm talking to you, squirrel. Oh, look at these little fellas.
Mom or the dad had going up? Or? I'm 85 percent sure that this is the older sister. Okay. Oh, so funny. Again, theming, really on point. You got this little cavernous area to walk through. You got the waterfall over here. Very relaxing. Bamboo. I am at one with the bamboo. Bamboo there, waterfall there, new shirt here. First time I've ever won this shirt, bought it last week. And it fits. All right, over at the Penn Station now. Got a few corresponding in this area. I like this one here, experience the Savannah. Well, I was looking for this the other day when Starbucks. I knew you could walk down the pathway, but you know, there was this little cubby hole walkway section here where you could look at the Tree of Life. It's pretty awesome. So you can see, you can walk out here, there's Expedition Everest over there. And then there is Tree of Life. Get out. Walking back, someone's getting a photo. Plenty of animals in there. There are so many animals in there that I haven't even seen them all. There's like a big lizard right there. Not big lizard in my backyard. Not, not the song from Dead Milkman, but still a big lizard. Also some other ones up there in the top of the tree branches. Just, oh, okay, there's a hippo right there. Let me zoom in on the hippo. Got the hippo there. Got the owl right there as well. Oh, there is a, there's some sort of like an oxen or something. And then right down here is a peacock. There's another little area down here as well. Again, I didn't realize there was this other little section off the main walkway to get a really good view of the Tree of Life right there. I was over on that section behind this fern a moment ago, and now I'm over on this side. People exiting the, it's tough to be a bug attraction. Oh, there's a snail there, and next to the snail, right in the middle of the screen is a mongoose. Also, do you to do a reference from the same band, the woman who was also a mongoose? I don't know why I'm thinking about dead milkmen so much, but yeah, just they have a lot of songs about animals. Ooh, there's a horse. Is that a? I think that's a, a horse right there. At least the undercarriage of a horse. Oh, this is nice. Monkeys over here are out. So this is kind of a good time to be here. I'm seeing a lot of animals. Granted, I didn't go on the safari, so I'm not sure. I can't speak for the safari, but look at this guy just hanging around right there in the middle of the screen.
Got his own little island. up this with the mountain itself. There it is. Alright. Well, the sun's still pretty bright right now, but it will be dissipating soon. I don't even know what that word means, but it sounds fun. A cast member took a couple photo pass photos for me as I was walking over into this area. There you go, giving it a big thumbs up. Right there. Like that one right there. I'm not sure which one I like more. I'll pick my favorite of these and I'll put it up on my Instagram. I hardly ever post on Instagram, but I'm gonna put one of these up on my, I do little stories, 24 hour stories usually with my like treadmill and in my home gym and stuff. But I'm gonna actually put one of these as a real photo up on my Instagram, Adam the Woo ATW. I don't know which one though, there's that one. There's that one, and then there's that one. Kind of like that one, because you can tell what I'm standing in front of, but anyway, it'll be over there. Adam the Woo ATW on Instagram. Oh, they're going back to their water. Oh, there was like a grouping of little baby ducks with the mama. Oh, they're going in the water, they're going in the water. They're, wow, it's kind of a big ledge. They're right over there through the shrubs. It's like a grouping of them. They were walking in front of the guests time I got over here they were already kind of nestled in the foliage they're going down in the water okay the mom just leapt down in the water interesting okay the mom so all the oh there they are look look oh my gosh oh my gosh that's so high up that's too high up birdies that's so high up you gotta fly back up here mama I mean you can't tell how far that is from here but Oh, there goes one. They're leaping off. Okay, take care of take care of the youngins. They're right there. That is, man, that is a training for, for the youth. Look at this. Oh my gosh. What the? They're very daring. There's two left. There's two left over there. They're afraid. There's two left. I have to wonder if the mom does that, if that's like a, a, a teaching tactic to try to give them, have them build up a little, get a little gumption. Okay, there's one left up here somewhere. Oh, she's over, way over there. Uh, doesn't want to go. I'm, she's scared. Go, go, go. You got this. Yes. They all made it. That was one of the cutest things ever. big happy family well I don't know where the dad is yeah for a moment there I didn't think that all of her youngins were gonna make the leap that was like for me that would be like jumping off of like a hundred foot well maybe not a hundred feet like a 50 foot building into the water that's uh, quite the dive a nose dive I think I'm going to enjoy this walkway tour of the old royal forest monkeys tigers dragons the old royal forest. It's about six right now, a couple minutes till six. This closes at 6.30. A lot of the walkthroughs close before the park closes. The park closes at 8 p.m. I also might go over to Pandora a little later. I don't know if I'll stay right till late, but I'll stay later. I'll stay later than 6.30, obviously. I'm gonna check out Pandora at dusk. I think I, I misspoke when I said I'd walk through here at dusk, but it's not going to be dusk. It's just going to be, just going to be, late afternoon. Late, late after, late, late, late afternoon. Look at this thing. This perspective, that log that it's in front of is probably five, six feet long. Oh my gosh! Look, look at that. Look at this freaking amazing creature. Is that like six feet long? Six feet, seven feet? Oh, eight. I think eight feet. Yeah. Okay. That's amazing. 
This is a good time to see the animals. Yeah, he's moving around, which is new for him. He's like, sits on his rock. Okay. That is so cool. Eight feet long. Look at that. Gosh. That is just incredible. It's beautiful. Beautiful big dragon. It's like an oversized lizard. I like to hear the other animals making noises in there. All right, going into going into the cave now. How you doing? What's the technical name of this? Komodo dragon. A Komodo dragon. Okay, that was awesome. That was very impressive. I think in the entire time, many times I've been to Animal Kingdom, I've only walked through this area two, maybe three times. So a lot of stuff in here I've never really noticed. All right, this is what I'm excited about, the bat house. Do not feed the wildlife. It may change their natural behavior and be harmful to their health. It's time to enter the bat cave. Also, I ended up getting a little hydration here, a little Dasani. Got hydrate, got caffeinated. Now I'm getting hydrated. Bats. Winged freak terrorizes. Oh yeah, it's shadowy in here. This might be good. This might be real good. Quiet in here too. Very quiet. Bats. Oh my gosh, look at these. Look at those. Ooh, the gate's open over there. Look. There must be a handler in there. What the bats fly out of there? Where are the bats? I think I might have missed them. I think. Cast member was just explaining, I'm over listening to what she's saying to some other people, that they went away for the evening. Maybe they maybe they opened that up and that's where they fly. Maybe the bats are in there. Dang. I was thinking the darker it got, the better it'd be to see the bats. I wonder if Ozzy's ever been in here in this little enclosure. He'd have a field day. A prehensile tailed skink. Look at this thing. Look at this guy. Although tigers are present in the forest, you'll be very safe by walking on the well-traveled paths. That's a good thing. You see the sun. A little sun gleaming down there. Again, theming on freaking point through here. Look at this freaking door. That is great. Love this area. All right, going through the glass. Who is it? <laughs> oh. oh, he's like, he's prowling. Oh no, he's just sitting and resting. I thought he was on the prowl, but he's just sitting and resting. Looking over the, the horizon there. I'm watching the sunset. The side of this building's got the cracks in the side, almost like there was like a earthquake, or maybe over time, this the structural stability of it has cracked. You got the little carved murals here as well. That little like a warthog there on the end, a deer, a goose, an antelope, a monkey, an elephant. Where is the rainbow? Is it? 
rainbow. It's a rainbow pigeon. Oh, rainbow pigeon. I don't know if they have your own color. Hello, Tyler, Snow White. Rainbow pigeon. Love this area. What is it, DC? Rainbow Fishing. Oh, this is a rainbow fishing. Look at my mom. DC Club. You're welcome. You're welcome for me visiting. Thank you for visiting the Maharaja Jungle Trek. I saw an assortment of animals. I did not see any bats, but I'll be back for the bats. Also, I think I got about 15, 20 minutes before the safari ends, before it closes. I think I got time to get over there, get on the last safari of the night. All right, this is more like it. So when it said five minutes earlier, the line was to right here. So I walked up, saw it and left. Now it says 10 minutes out front and the line is considerably shorter than it is when it's at five minutes. 6.22, 6.45 is when the safari stops running. Eight o'clock is when the park closes. We go over here to the, the booking office and book my safari. Be back soon, please proceed, okay. Oh yeah, this is going to be a straight walk on. <laughs> Love it. Maybe I'll see uh, Big Red and her calf, Little Red. Hopefully. Look at this. There's no one in this line. No one. There's freaking no one, no one in this line. Yeah, showing up later in the day for the win. Again, it only takes... 10 minutes to get from my house to here. Look at this, there's no one. I'm walking right on. There's three cast members up here. No guests. There's a few people behind me, about 50 yards behind me, but nobody in front of me. No one. This is the Lightning Lane Connect. No one over in zone two. Only a few people in zone one. Ooh, maybe I could get the back row. Ooh, maybe I could get the back row of this one. Uh, maybe not. I'll ask for the back on the next one. Can I get the back row? Okay, you said row six is the farthest back I can go. So, row six. Everybody gives me a welcome, my friends. I'm right hand side, I'm hands, arms, feet, and legs. There's no sunny place. Look at this. There's a handful of people on there. Guess what? Does he too pick? for the next two weeks, so make sure you remain seated at all times, my weeks. friends. This is nice. I'm behind me. Yeah. If you look yeah. right above you, there is going to be an animal spotting guide to connect pictures and names of all the possible animals we could see out there. So keep an eye out for your favorites. Your most camouflage friends. Tongues are so long that they could lick their they own do eyeballs. <laughs> Look at him, he's like running around. How cute. Just stuck by a beach. Opati's tongues are so long that they can actually lick their own eyeballs. <laughs> So if they're just feeling itchy in their eyeballs, they're just itching. Rhino coming up on your left hand side. Yes. He is our smallest rhinoceros, but he can weigh up to 3,000 pounds. That is He's going to have a point of shape mouth which helps him draw small leaves or any small plants a lot easier. That is awesome. Look at that. There also is one right over there closer to the wall as well. Falling in love with the wall or something? A bongo. Bongos are known as the ghosts of the forest. If you look, they have super slick back, like curving layers. It's going to help them go through any small bushes or any small plants a lot easier. A group of hippos is called a bloat. <laughs> a 
A lot of people think hippos can't swim, but they actually can. They can actually swim, hold, sorry, hold their breath for about eight minutes underwater. So do keep an on left hand, right hand side for those Nile crocodiles. Nile crocodiles do weigh up to 500 pounds. They have their body weight in one sitting and they only get fed once a week. They're typically about 16 to 18. If, the, if you could see the next truck, then sometimes we're too close. So we just gotta give everybody like fair space, you know? So when one moves, they all move. Kind of like a big game of follow the leader. As you can see, one's moving right over there, they're all moving. They actually are fine by the Africans. And people thought they were wild beasts, so it's a weird they get their name from, which is really cool. Wild beasts. Now we know it's a Messiah giraffe from its messy-like spots. Messiah actually is a tribe name. If you see a giraffe, they're most likely eating. They actually eat 16 to 20 hours per day. Yeah, they're super skinny. Thinks we have food, that's why. I don't know, just feeling like it. Did he bring snacks? Oh, I don't know. He's always hungry. Now, if you look on your right hand side, there's the Ann Colby cattle right over there. It's gonna have a big old horns. And you might think those horns are really heavy, but they're actually really, really light in structure. Now, there is more giraffes straight ahead. Trying to look for his really big black long tongue. Giraffe's tongues are. A group of giraffe which we have here is called a tower. Now these giraffes actually only sleep 30 minutes per day. They take their naps in five minute increments. Now this animal on the right hand side is the eland over here. So have more than half of their population is always in precisely grasslands. And sometimes they do right hand side. There's so many, so many animals out. Now everyone look at the shape of its ear. It's actually shaped like the continent of Africa. Have you ever seen an elephant with small, rounded, chubby ears? They're actually Asian elephants, so it's like the easiest way to tell the difference. We do know that elephant is male, and we know that from looking at its size, but also its herd size. Male elephants can weigh up to 13,000 pounds. is a group of flamingos. Now these are specifically the greater flamingos. These are the lightest in color and the tallest of all flamingos miles per hour. They're gonna have a black stripe under their eyes, just like baseball players have a black stripe under their eyes. Oh, there's the female. There she is. I always see her. It's so sunny. Oh. <laughs> female lions are typically great hunters. Waking up. There she is. She's awake. She's awake, yeah. I think she's just thinking maybe. Her eyes look kind of closed. Their paws kind of look like cat paws, or like dog paws. Oh, hello. Oh. He's looking at me. He's looking at you. Make sure he's talking about you. Talking about her. Mm -hmm. really cool buddy. The highly recommend giving that to you if you haven't already. If I do have any wilderness explorers on board, you are upon the Simba One. Yes, that was really, really enjoyable. I'm now walking through the Tree of Life Garden over here. I do know, I thought maybe about popping into Pandora, but I don't think I'm gonna go into Pandora tonight. I'm gonna save that for another evening. I've already accomplished quite a bit. Oh, there is, is that a kangaroo down there? There's a freaking kangaroo. Oh, oh, there we go. Guess we're going away for the evening. I kind of figure there's plenty plenty else to cover and I think I'm gonna probably make this a pretty frequent thing not a daily thing or maybe not even weekly but pretty often start popping in here in the late afternoon early evening hours and just kind of learn to learn to enjoy just not really doing attractions and rides so much but just the ambiance of Animal Kingdom. Plus I feel like Avatar is pretty much its own entity back there I could spend a lot of time doing all this stuff down and out. Also never seen those films. 
I think I need to put that on my list. There's a rhino right there. Maybe before I do like a, a full on, full video at night back in there. I should probably know what I'm looking at. Like there's, that's a squirrel. I know what a squirrel is, but I do not know the characters from out there. There's a big eagle right there. There's a monkey up in the branch. There's a big ant or a spider right there. There's a deer head. There is a rhino. There's another deer. Here's a squirrel. That's a place where you can sit. This is an elephant. Uh, maybe. I can't tell if that's an elephant tusk. I don't know what that is, but that is a possum. This is a freaking incredible. Area. I'm gonna start making my way out now, going past this little waterfall area over here. Start heading out towards the front of the park. I didn't even go over to Dino Land USA. I've done that a bunch of times, and I'm sure I will do that many more times before it goes away completely. There's some strong rumors and probably even some confirmation floating around out there that that whole area is going to be going away. So I will be doing some stuff over in there as time goes on. And then again, obviously, I want to do the area, the Pandora, the Avatar Land, I guess you could call it. And I got to make a, make a point to watch both those films. Man, I love James Cameron. But for some reason or another, I just, those will slip past my radar. There's my elongated shadow from the angle of the sun behind me. The sun is just about to set. I would, dare I say, the perfect day at Animal Kingdom. And now my shadow is kind of, well, it's kind of still there. The perfect day at Animal Kingdom. I really had a great time. Now my shadow's gone, because yeah, the bus is going by. Now my elongated shadow is back. I ended up purchasing a shirt, another collared shirt. I'm in my collared shirt phase. And I also got some Disney coffee, some K-Cups, a 12-pack of hazelnut Mickey coffee. Maybe I'll probably wear the shirt one day. Maybe you'll see what the shirt is. That's going to do it for today from myself, my elongated shadow, and Animal Kingdom. I appreciate you watching. And always remember, it's a jungle out there. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.